Hey guys, so it's kind of a pretty sad day today. It's my last morning here at Hannam's Wake Up and ah man, I've just had such a good time here. It's, it's a little bit windy to, to this morning and it's uh, probably for the better because I'd, I'd probably leave this place with even a heavier heart. But man, it's been such an unreal time riding here, learning. I've learned so much about coaching. I've learned so much about you know, just wake skating on the obstacles and shredding with Minnie and Terry and Ben have just been the coolest hosts. Um, I'm really stoked, you know, just to, to have made the friends I did here and ridden with all the Groms and everyone that I did. So before we get stuck into this week's tutorial, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone at Hannams and thank you, yeah, thank you so much to everyone who rode with me, shredded with me, filmed me, you know, Ali for having us over at his house. It was super sick. And yeah, I mean, I'm really stoked to see the video that comes out of this trip and really stoked to hopefully come back next year and see how far everyone's progressed and just see the, the you know, the stoke again here in England. Uh, I never thought I'd have so much fun riding in a 4-3 more wetsuit and, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, just being this cold and still, you know, learning new tricks and stuff. It's really been cool. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. So. Before we get stuck into this week's tutorial, I just want to say thank you so much. Everyone at Hannam's Wake Up. Woo. Alright guys, so last little tutorial that I'll be doing from Hannam's Wake Up and when I say that I mean that I'll be explaining here. I've still got a bunch of tricks I'd love to talk you guys through but we might be skipping between home and here to get you guys those tutorials. Um, sticking with the kickers, I know the last kicker tutorial we did, we did a uh, the switch front three or the regular front three, I did a switch and today I wanted to go through um, the front side 180 of a kicker for all you guys who have knocked out the straight air and now you want to learn the next thing so uh, basically the front side 180 is a really good you know basic trick and it's such a good foundation uh, all you really need to learn for this trick before you get going is let's say have your straight airs down on the kicker and have your flats front side ollie 180s down uh, wouldn't hurt to maybe do them off a rail but um, you know like we got you on the kicker first so I, I think you guys will be fine with this so Step one, we're going to treat this trick up until the peak of the kicker exactly like we do with a straight air. You're going to come in nice and mellow edge through the middle of the kicker, handle nice and low, uh, feet in the same position. Everything is going to be like your, your standard straight air. When it gets different is, as you come up to the lip, you're going to let go with your front hand. So that would be your right hand if you're goofy, your left hand if you're regular. And the biggest mistake I see people make on the front 180 of a kicker is they really try to turn it too early and they try to like turn it too fast. And that's when you start losing your board or slipping out on your heels and it really uh, makes it a lot harder to just get it down. So for, for the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to do a straight air with your backhand on the handle. And as you come up, you're going to let go, you're going to suck then your knees into your chest so that you bring the board up nicely with you. You're not straightening your legs and losing the board suck your knees into your chest let go with your front hand and for the first on the way up that's exactly how you're going to stay you're not even going to turn the board around you, you'll still know just when you let go with your hand it's going to get you into 90 degrees and that 90 degree position is when the board really sticks to your feet nicely because you kind of have your your toes up and the winds pushing the board to your feet which really helps so you're going to come up stay in that 90 degree position on the whole way up as you're coming down that's when you're going to move the rope to your back hip so your left hip if you're goofy right hip if you're regular and when you come over onto your toes like that you well when you come over ah it was going so well okay <laughs> we'll try it again when you come over when you come over from that 90 degrees you're gonna move that handle into your back hip um, remember don't pull it you're just moving it across 
as you come down, you're going to want to make sure you land, bend your knees and land over your toes. Um, I remember learning this trick, I used to slip out of my heels all the time and it was so frustrating. So you really want to even try to focus on like, I remember what really helped me when I learned this trick was I just said to myself, I'm going to fall on my face on the next one, I'm so over falling over on my heels. And that's when I started getting them. Obviously, if you're falling over your toes, you don't want to think about doing that. But come over, just try to come over, make sure you land over your toes, bend. You'll see how my body bends, how I bend over my toes and I'll make sure I almost land on my toe side edge a little bit. You don't want to be doing it where you are landing on your heels and landing with the board out in front of you. So the board's going to be in front of you for the first part of the rotation and at 90 and then as you come down, that you're going to come down over the board and that's what's going to allow you to really get over your toes. Um, it really is, it, it really is the, the key to the trick is that breaking down your rotation and getting over your toes. So yeah, the next step, just come down, land over your toes. Once again, keep an eye on your feet. You want to make sure you're nice and controlled on the board. You don't want to be landing with your feet close together or if you feel like you're uncomfortable, feel free to kick it away the first couple of times just to get that feeling. And yeah, keep riding away on your toes. Don't try to come back into the cable too soon. Land and just ride that way for a little bit just so you know you're in control. A lot of the time these big switch landings, it almost feels like you have to land the trick a little bit longer because you have to really um, you know, compress the landing because you, you won't be as comfortable landing switch off the kick as you are regular. So yeah, make sure you land edge away and you've got a new trick in the bag. Uh, a couple of points you might want to help. Someone once told me, you know, like as you land, I tend to look down a lot and that's I think just from skateboarding, but if you do land and you feel like you're falling over, maybe look at the next shore or look ahead of you. Um, another bit of advice is maybe even moving that handle past your hip to almost your, your butt cheek. Um, that also helps getting you over your toes. It really is a trick that a lot of people tend to make different mistakes on. So if you have tried this and you're struggling, please send me a video and I will try and help you as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, so that's unfortunately the end of the, my last tutorial, Haddon's Wake Up. Um, if you guys are ever in England and you ever have the chance to come down here, I would highly recommend it. I have met very few people that um, are this passionate about the sport and this passionate is about getting other people on the water. Uh, you know, I've seen them just take coaching lesson after lesson after lesson, getting people up. You know, they will make sure if you haven't wakeboarded, you get up, they will make sure you stick that trick. They have all the tools, all the obstacles to, to really up your riding. And if you're wakeboarding or wake skating, I definitely recommend coming down to Hannams. Um, but yeah, I guess the next time we chat to you guys will be in South Africa again, and probably well, more permanently from South Africa because you know, obviously I've jumped around a little bit with these, but yeah, really stoked guys. Um, it's gonna be, you'll be back next summer. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Hannam's uh, website link and Facebook pages, Instagram pages below. And we'll see you next week for another Wakeskate Wednesday. Yo.